yeah, very good. Uh, being here a week now, um, the people are very uh, helpful. The, um, they want to uh, help me with everything um, in the city, in the hotel, at the club. Uh, so my first week is really uh, good to acclim acclimatize, you know, and to get used to things. Um, I'm taking Spanish lessons. Um, we're having talks every morning with uh, with the staff. So slowly, I'm, I'm getting into the in the way of uh, of working. And tomorrow, of course, I really start with the first training. Aprende rápido español. ¿Cuánto tiempo podrás charlar con tu equipo abiertamente español? Um, Espero en dos meses, pero no, no, es, no es fácil. Eh, it's, 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 uh, entiendo mucho, pero speaking, hablar es más uh, difícil. Um, I have to take a lot of lessons, talk with the people here, and I think every day it will get better and better. And I have the help of uh, my assistant Eduardo Fentanes, who will help me out with translating and. And I think, uh, you know, in the one-on-ones with the players and uh, also in the group uh, talks, slowly, slowly, uh, we will uh, get them there to understand what we want. Slowly. Pian pianito? Pian pianito. <laughs> <laughs> uh, John, dentro del estudio que has realizado en tu equipo, eh, si el torneo iniciara este fin de semana, ¿tienes un once inicial de Chivas con lo que tú has estudiado de tu plantel? Sí, so if I have to make a team in, in, in the, with the players I have now, uh, uh, that would not be a problem. Uh, but of course, we we want to see what we can uh, get for becoming stronger. Um, but I think already the players that we have, we we already have a very strong uh, strong group. Uh, but I think we need some uh, positions or some players who can help to lift the, the level of the, of the team. ¿En cuánto tiempo, John, tu equipo jugará como tú deseas? Uh, I hope tomorrow, uh, but it's not going to... Uh, we have to have patience because uh, trying to, to bring something different to a team, uh, the players have to understand, they have to feel what the coach wants, they, um, they have to... Um, get used to maybe some different kind of things in training and in the game. But it can also be very fast if the players understand. And I think it's a very intelligent group uh, with a lot of technical ability, abilities. Uh, it can also happen very quickly. Results, of course, are, are always uh, very helpful because if you get some results in the beginning, it, it helps the belief of everybody. Uh, but we have to be patient. I think it's a project that can take a little bit more time. We've seen a lot of big clubs where coaches come in, they want to change a little bit the system. And in the beginning it takes time because the players have to get used to and make maybe some mistakes. But after a while when everybody knows, oh, okay, it falls all together like a puzzle. And then, and then you, can, you can really expect. And I hope, I hope like in in two, three months that you already can see that there's a different kind of uh, philosophy and energy and you can see it on the pitch. John, si Marco Fabian no regresara, ¿tienes alguien para cubrir esa posición de Marco Fabian? If, if <laughs> he would not come back, then of course. Uh, but um, we've decided within the club that uh, Marco Fabian is not for sale. So um, he's going to be here. Um, he's going to be here for at least one more year. We have to see every year, year after year, but I think it would be great for a player like him now to make the next step, to become really a, a kind of a leader for Chivas. Um, he has done very good in Europe, so his name now is known by everybody in Europe. And I think coming back to Chivas, they will follow him for sure. And I think if he has a very good year here next year, his possibilities to, to, to go to Europe are still there and maybe even better. Dicen no está en venta. Si algún club europeo pone mucho dinero, se resiste la, la oferta. I'm the coach, uh, so I can decide, of course, the financial uh, things. Uh, but as a coach, I would say 
he has to stay because he's important for the for the team. He is one of the players that uh, has something special. Uh, so as a coach, I want him to stay. But of course, if clubs start throwing a lot of money and then it's for Jorge to decide what's the best and for the club. I'm the coach and I cannot decide that. Um, we're looking on different kind of positions and uh, we look at every position also for this position because it's a very important position for the team. Uh, we have two, three very young strikers with Fierro, with um, Kubo Torres and and they're, they're, of course, very talented, but also very young. Uh, so in that position, we, we certainly uh, want to, to, to be looking around if, they, if we can find uh, a reinforcement for the team. But if not, we know that we have two very talented, good uh, strikers uh, already in the team. Hay jugadores en México que encajen en tu sistema y en la filosofía chiva, John? Can you explain that question? Sorry. Are there any players that, that in, in Mexico that will fit the philosophy and what you're looking for a, for a forward? Yeah, yeah. Well, I, of course, uh, there are a lot of players I think that can fit in the system. Um, we're looking for players that um, have a good vision, have an understanding of uh, of, of playing position game, um, uh, who who can uh, play in a certain discipline. And I think the Mexican players are very adept to that kind of thing. Uh, it's only more sometimes to play in, in a kind of role in the discipline of that system. But that's something that yeah, you never know before. But I think there are, are a lot of players that we can, um, we can fit in. Yeah. La afición, ¿en qué puede soñar? Fans, what they can... They can dream about what ah, okay. Well, of course, the the the, the vision of, of uh, the way we want to play is attacking, having the ball, uh, that the people can can enjoy the way uh, Chivas is playing with with no fear, uh, going out there to win a game. I think a, a team as Chivas always have to play to win. Um, and within that, of course, the system that we want to, to, to play, it's not, it's not something that it's from another planet. It's something that uh, we will... Uh, not much difference as, as what they already are used to. Some, some details that maybe change, but it's more playing from out of the position, playing more in the discipline, giving them some, um, some clear definitions of what they have to do. Uh, and that's something that uh, that we will work on. That uh, I hope that the fans can can see a, a very uh, enjoyable attacking uh, Chivas. La pretemporada en Europa. Por qué en Europa? Qué buscas? Um, I think uh, it's uh, just to get out of the normal environment. Um, for the team, it's a good experience. A lot of players uh, to see something something different in Europe. The way of of uh, go, all, all, um, only going to Europe, playing there, training there, maybe having a different kind of atmosphere. We can build very close together, uh, work on what we want, uh, play play two games, maybe three games. We have to see. Um, I think for the mindset, it could be very good. Um, so there are, there are advantages and there are disadvantages. You always have that because the travel could maybe be a disadvantage, but we're going to be back um, before the end of June. So we have still uh, more than three weeks before the league starts. So I think it's a good, uh, good thing to, to just to break up the preseason. In the form of the game, 4-3-3, uh, we will we will uh, play uh, with uh, with a midfield with three players with one more back and two up there so that's the the starting of how we want to play with two wide players striker four in the back 
um, and the last year they played more with two and, 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 and one here so it's not a big it's not a big change but it could be it could be um, an important kind of thing uh, for the team to, to, to adapt and we believe that in this positioning uh, the positions on the pitch are better occupied so we we will work on that si, si no llega ningún refuerzo te obliga a cambiar tu esquema 433 um, normally I will not we, we, we will try to play this uh, against every team and of course sometimes you can play 343 three. you know it's not that you always play 433 three, depending how strong you are if you can always dominate you can keep playing 433 three, or sometimes when they play with two strikers maybe we will go to three defenders but it doesn't change the philosophy of playing Eric Torres, Carlos Fierro, ¿están listos si no llega un refuerzo nueve? ¿Están listos ellos para ser titulares? Um, we have to see. Um, they have to show in the preseason, like every other player. Uh, if not, then we, we have to find another solution. But I believe uh, in both players. Of course, they're very young and we cannot expect from Carlos Fierro to play 17 games uh, in the lineup, uh, but hopefully he can make a next step, uh, already playing this year a lot. And the same for uh, Eric Torres, he's a young player, talented player. It's not easy to, to be the follow-up of uh, Chacarito. He has to, it, it's a lot of pressure for, for playing for a big club like Chivas and also in that position. So. We will see and we will help them. Finalmente, esperas tú algún refuerzo? Yes, we, 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 I hope we can get uh, some good uh, players to Chivas for sure. One, two, three. Um, yeah, well, two, three, hopefully two, three we can, we can get in and uh, to, uh, to make the team uh, more, more complete, more competitive. Uh, so that's what, uh, what we're working on. Muchas gracias, John. Muy amable. Ok, muy bien. Muchas gracias.